Hey guys, how's it going? It's Georgie. Uh, and in this tutorial, I'm going to take a look on pixel art. Uh, and it's something that I I just uh, learned how to do by myself, like uh, very uh, recently. So I'm not any kind of uh, I don't master that. I just know how to do some things. And uh, on this one, I'll just uh, show the process of doing this uh, pixel art stylist, uh, stylized uh, reindeer. That is the um, that is my my studio and my channel um, character, right? So. So there you go. Um, we are here at the Manga Studio or Clip Art Studio, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start a new file, and we're going to uh, do it in a very sl uh, low resolution because you want to do pixel art, so you want to do uh, pixel uh, drawings and the size of pixels, and you want to control every pixel. So you do that like I, I put like 192 per 180, and uh, and then you go here view and grid, and you put like your grid to one pixel, and then you can yeah see you zoom in, and then you can see all the all the pixels there. So then you can work better with um, you know, control better every pixel. All right. So let's go here to to our to start our drawing. All right. Then we we'll go to the pen. And what we do is we we set this here. We set this this configuration here for at least one pixel because we're going to use very uh, small brush, so like with 0 0.1 something like that. So, but we we want to when we draw to have at least one pixel draw it. So yeah, see? That's what I'm doing. So I got like a, a color that I want and I'm doing here like 16 uh, pixels of height. That will be my the height of my reindeer, right? So this will be like uh, the, the front face of the reindeer. Okay? And then I go, I, I try like to m measure by eye, like the distance that I want, like not will be, it will not be the same, not be a square, but I want to have like perspective uh, view on my, on my reindeer. So I go a little bit, not over 16, a little bit lower, a little bit, uh, not so much as 16, I think like 12 pixels here, the distance. And I draw like another uh, line of 16 here. And then I draw here the connection between the two uh, vertical lines okay that will give me the perspective uh, look that I want okay and uh, we're going to do the other face now so it will be the side one of the sides of the reindeer okay the left side of the reindeer so I do the same thing I could draw vertical line 16 uh, pixels height Okay, and then I do the same frame that I did on the other side to connect to the end of the face. Okay, so go like this: the distance between one vertical line and the other here on one face is twelve pixels. So I do the same thing: vertical line of sixteen connect here with uh, with your pen okay and then we're going to do the the top so we choose like a different color because we want to have like a uh, like a lightning uh, perspective also so on one side will be lighter than the other the top can be darker or lighter it depends of your choice so for me the top will be a little bit darker so I choose like a bit darker color from what I was doing 
and I do the same thing, the same framework that I did here on the bottom, I do on the top. So it will be like a cube, almost like a cube. See? Yeah, so this will be the body of my reindeer. So what I do now, we have to fill everything here. Right? So I choose my... Yeah. I choose my uh, select tool, then I select, just fill with paint. It's really straightforward. So this will be like a really straightforward uh, technique, right? So you can see, you can like uh, notice the shape, almost like a cube. It's not a uh, 2D, it's like almost 3D. So just correct here those two sides and yeah you can see like a perspective uh, cube right very pixelated now I'm going to draw the face of my reindeer so I have to calculate a little bit uh, where I'm going to put the eyes because I want to I want the eyes and the face and the nose to be in perspective also so it have to be the eyes have to be closer to the other to this left edge instead of the right one right and also not to be on the same line, have to be in like a diagonal uh, line. Yeah, so here I'm testing the where should I put the nose, not here. Yeah, just go back on this back tool here. Then I draw the nose, also again in perspective, not on the same line. Yeah, so this will be the face of my reindeer. So this is the face that I do for my for my own uh, my own character, my reindeer. Okay, so go here on my color wheel, and then I'm going to do the the antlers of the reindeer. And uh, because my reindeer has only one antler, the other ones cut it down. So this will be smaller. This left one will be smaller, and the other one will be larger, like with big antlers, everything. So it just, I just try, try to imagine how it would be a better um, look, a better shape for my for my antler. So just trying to draw as I was, as I would be drawing with the regular pencil, and I try to fix something that might not look so good. So just it mostly is uh, I do this by eye. I don't measure. Just have the grid to 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 help on my on the drawing but n not other than that so I just fill everything with the color correct some things here some holes that I that I might have left and then I'm going to do the lightning and the shadows for the handler so I just choose a lighter color to do the lightning because the lights going from the right to left so it has to be from the right to left also the lightning on my on my antlers All right and I do the same thing on this other one so it's, it's, it's getting more light because the lights going from this this right side okay and for the shadow the same thing just choose a darker color and do the shadow so the shadow will be on the left side okay it's pretty easy it's not hard at all okay can you see it's getting form what I'm going to do now is just uh, go for the legs right yes so I'm doing the legs all and, and the same thing the legs have to follow the perspective so it will be like like a smaller cube underneath the, the big one. So I'll, I'll follow the shape, the, the color of the face that I am that I am painting. See? This one connects with the other face. This one, because it will get more shadows from underneath, I put a darker color. Alright? It's different. So I put a darker color because it's, it's receiving less light than this this these other legs here. Here's the same thing. Not as dark as this one. 
so you have to uh, remember that we have the light going from the right to the left yeah and just putting some details here the foot of my reindeer also trying to follow the, the lightning and the shadows and everything okay looks cool it looks like the one that I that I'm using on my channel this is like a totally new one so yeah just to finish making the tail so just make the shape of the tail and again for the shadows remember the light goes from right to left on, I mean in this specific drawing the shadows are going on the left the light are going on the right okay and there you go now we have to make the resolution larger so we go again on layer on edit I mean change layer resolution and we put 1920 to yeah and remember to keep here on pixels and let smooth yeah and there you go we still have the grid so what we have to do is go here on view and deselect grid yeah and there you go my reindeer for the meat herder studio all right hope you guys have enjoyed it's really easy just give it a try and um, yeah you can you can correct some details after so just paint it over or this is like I'm using just one layer for this one because it's really simple okay all right so hope you guys have enjoyed uh, see you later on some next uh, tutorial thank you very much